Hey guys, Nui here, and back again with the final portion of my, or the final of the three uh, starter builds that I have been looking into, uh, heading into the 3.0 patch. Um, so this is my last build, um, and this, or the last build that I have set up prior to the 3.0 patch, I should say. Um, I do have a couple builds in mind for the newer skills, and I'll probably be showing those later into the patch, but, um... Yeah, this is my uh, Caustic Arrow build. Um, I've been running around since uh, the Legacy League has ended. I've been running around on my Caustic, uh, Caustic Arrow um, Ranger just to see the kind of damage over time it can do and stuff like that. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I decided to make a build based off of that. Um, now, as you guys know, Caustic Arrow does uh, chaos damage over time as well as an initial physical damage hit. So, um, keeping those in mind, this build is very focused on um both physical or uh, projectile damage physical damage um off of bows as well as um chaos damage over t and chaos damage and um pierce as well um now uh the other things that augment caustic arrow are area of effect as well as um it has the possibility to poison so uh looking into my 3.0 build and the changes to poison and the increased damage from poison um, I wanted to test this build out not only just as dealing chaos damage and um, damage over time, not only just as doing the chaos damage over time, I also wanted to see how heavy I can scale the poison damage off of it. So, um, heading into the skill tree, I just uh, grabbed a large amount of evasion. Um, I do have, um, a, I have a very heavy amount of projectile damage, a very heavy amount of... Um, Evasion and a very heavy amount of bow damage. I also grabbed um, some extra poison damage as well as a uh, large amount of extra chaos damage. Now, um, all of that takes into account my caustic arrow. So I'm doing about 500% increased damage overall with those three things combined, which is projectile damage, bow damage, and chaos damage, and stuff like that. And then adding on to the damage with poison, it's even closer to 600% increased damage. So uh, hopefully I should just be doing chunks out of things with both poison as well as caustic clouds uh, damage over time. So I'm very excited to see how this works and I'm hoping that it works out pretty well. Um, the only downside to this build that I really notice is that I don't have the highest amount of health pool. I did grab about 100% increased, 160% uh, increased to be exact, but um, that still feels a little bit low and I also don't have the highest amount of charges though i do have a decent way to i do have a decent amount of frenzy charges um i don't really have a huge amount of thought in mind of how exactly i'm going to generate those frenzy charges so i'll have to put that into thought when i start heading into this build and leveling it out um now i did only grab three jewel sockets in this build um, I debated on dropping some of my some of my evasion and grabbing the extra projectile damage, but I, and an extra socket, but I actually decided against that. So um, it totals out to me having 229% increased evasion and you know 106% increased life. So I feel like I'm decent uh, in terms of health and all that stuff and being able to run through stuff and again uh this is another one of those builds where it's not so heavily focused on me attacking outright it's also focused on my damage over time so i'm not too too worried about um i'm not too too worried about being more focused on dealing damage than actually dodging stuff because i actually don't have to depending on how this build works i really shouldn't have to do too too many outward attacks because my damage over time from both chaos and poison should do a uh, incredible amount of damage to the point that I can really just fire a couple times and let the damage over time kill everything. Um, that's basically how I've been doing it in 2.6 to be honest with you. Now I don't have that character the highest level. He's about, she's about, wow, she is about level 45 um, right now since I only really played her since about two nights. So um she's not the highest highest level but i'm basically just two shot two shot caustic arrowing and then walking away and everything just dies so uh i don't really feel like uh it's too too bad now i do have enough um looking at my stats i do have enough intelligence to be able to run um to be able to run uh things like um what am i thinking of 
uh, I do have enough intelligence to be able to run Curse on Hit or something like that. And I am running uh, Herald of Lightning on this build. Uh, typically, I run Herald of Ice because that's that I'll do my Curse on Hits off of. But uh, I've also been running, um, because this is an archer, I feel like running uh, Herald of Lightning for, since it's just, you know, it's range damage. So I feel like it's a little bit better overall for ranged. Um, and then I'll probably run Hatred uh, just for the added physical damage off of that. When it comes down to it, um, so I'm thinking I'm going to be running vulnerability for the increased physical damage as well as the damage over time, but I'm not sure if I want to not do that and instead run projectile weakness so that the initial arrow will hit harder and then that would also scale the damage. I really have to, I'm really, it's really a debate between those two because I guess if I run vulnerability, then when I do the initial hit, it'll hit a little bit less, but the damage over time will be higher. And if I run projectile weakness the initial hit will be way higher and then the damage over time will be a little bit lower i think i don't know i'll have to play around between those two and i don't mind testing those out um now this is the portion of the tree that uh poe planner hasn't updated yet so i will be switching over now to uh path of building to be able to show you guys the full fullness of this tree now, uh, switching over to Path of Builder, um, as you can see, it's fully, it's already updated, so I can see the extra damage node here for poison, so I'm getting the extra damage from poison there, which is 50% uh, increased damage with poison, um, and then I'm also taking this extra poison damage, so 20%, 25%, and 70%, so it's a pretty heavy amount of extra poison damage, which then does chaos damage, so... Um, I'm also scaling up here and grabbing all this chaos damage so that that poison will hit hard. My caustic damage in general will just hit hard based off of that poison damage. And then I'm also gaining extra chaos damage from my physical damage as well as my uh, projectile damage. It should be because uh, I, th I think it'll convert like that. I'm not really fully certain, but I feel like it converts like that where my projectile damage will also add it to my... Um, overall chaos damage so my dots should do a large amount for caustic arrow and the poison dot as a chance will also do a pretty decent amount of damage now um i debated grabbing this these four um instead of this instead of heading over here i debated grabbing these four but um i actually felt like the 24 percent uh actually felt like the 44 percent from here was a little bit more important, especially because it adds movement speed than heading over here. Um, I'm not totally certain on that, but I, I feel like it's just a better overall. Plus, it also lets me come down to this poison more naturally without having to go out of my way with my build. So, I feel like that was a, it's a better decision in terms of that. So, that's where I'm heading with that. Um, again, I do have, like... Um, a decent amount of health from stuff like just from the tree um i'll also be able to grab health off my car uh, off my gear um i don't have um any other like armor or anything like that so depending on my gear drops i might be able to grab like a couple extra armor pieces or something but i should have pretty high evasion and um since i'm a ranger i don't actually have to be up close in the fight so things shouldn't really really be getting to me in terms of dealing damage um so I should be able to do just kind of focus on avoiding stuff. And to be honest, as a player, I feel like I need to get better at avoiding stuff and not just relying on being able to face tank everything. Um, I feel like that's what I've learned from running these these maps that I have run. I feel like uh, it's very difficult for me not to get not just sit there and face tank stuff. Uh, so <laughs> especially and I kind of tend to lean towards builds that are able to face tank stuff a little bit more. So stuff like that. But uh, looking at my ascendancy tree, um, or my desired ascendancy tree, I want to get the increased area of effect from area skills because that'll f f also affect the caustic areas, uh, caustic arrows um, area of damage for ca um, its actual poison. So, and damage over time, so that I can have better clear speed, and then I'll just grab projectile damage and stuff like that, far shot stuff like that, which increases the damage uh, the faster the farther it travels and stuff like that, and then skills chaining some extra times and pierce, as well as extra projectile damage and stuff like that. So all of that just combines into extra damage. I thought about making this a bleed build to be honest, 
but um considering it's caustic and it's doing chaos damage it's actually pretty out of my way to come down and grab the extra bleed damage and stuff like that from this tree and you know just stuff like over here with the extra bleeding from here it's it's pretty out of my way in terms of this build so i decided on poison instead and i'm just excited to see how it works out and how well it works uh, i know pierce got changed a little bit so that might be a little bit different so depending on that these might this nodes might get changed in which case i would probably just switch back over to this damage here or even grab um I don't know, I could even grab, uh, I guess, uh, some physical damage here, or the damage over time from here. Um, now, I'm not taking uh, Valpact or anything like that, because uh, I don't feel like it's fully necessary for me to have Insta Leech on this class, because again, this class is focused on not getting hit by shit, so if I'm doing that correctly, um, I should not have too much issues. Also, I'm grabbing the increased Flask uh, regeneration and stuff from this, so... I should be fine in terms of that, and I shouldn't have to worry too heavy about that. Um, but overall, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with the way this build is currently set up, and I feel pretty confident um, that I can make it pretty deep into the patch with this build, as well as um, either my Rod Mocha build or my Shadow Throw build. I feel like I I feel pretty confident about all three of those builds, and I'm pretty comfortable on all of them in terms of the skills usage so i feel like i could definitely head pretty deep into the um into any uh any of the new content with any of those builds so i haven't again i haven't fully decided on which i'm going to be starting with and again you guys will have to wait until monday to see that but um as always be sure to leave your any thoughts or comments you guys have on my build or anything like that in the description below um and be sure to, you know, just give me any tips you can. I'm I'm still a new player. I've only been playing about, really, only about two months, I guess. Um, I've really only hopped in about the end of the Legacy League, so I don't have the, the most experience with this game. But I'm always willing to learn, and I'm really willing to uh, focus on developing good builds. But I also really am not too heavily uh, concerned with the metas. Again, I've never made a character... Um, to date that's taken someone else's build. I really only focus on creating my own builds and turning my own mentality into in my own playstyle, converting my own mentality and playstyle into my own type of build that is both fun for me to play through and still able to conquer the most challenging content in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, actually, thinking about it, I might put a poll up on my Twitter yeah, I might put a poll up on my Twitter page to see, to let you guys vote on uh, which which builds you actually want to see me play the most. Um, that 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 link will be in the description below as always, so you guys can head over to my Twitter and vote on that, and see which build you guys actually want to see me play in terms of the new 3.0 patch. But I'm gonna head out here guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you all later in future pat in future um in future build theory videos. So Nui out.